Hi guys, I am Mohammed Shahzad. As we see in our last lecture, we have a conceptual uh, lecture about the uh, semantic endpoint protection system. As you guys know that uh, ICE is uh, related to network devices and we can uh, protect our end, end devices with the ICE, Cisco ICE like uh, trust links and we can make endpoint profilings and other some security features but in the windows uh, side we always use a semantic there is some other also but uh, semantic is uh, more popular in the corporate sector so we will install endpoint protection in this uh, software we can do uh, you know profiling we can do whitelisting blacklisting and some other policies to protect our um, you know the endpoint windows so our clients so let's start we are going to install uh, semantic endpoint protection manager uh, so I have downloaded this one the setup file so you can download from the website of semantic so we'll just click double click on the wizard and I will start install endpoint protection manager and it will start installation wizard uh, I'm using this you know 2019 server to install semantic endpoint protection manager on so we will just click next accept the agreement next okay free space is this physical memory is this next and install so it will take time to install I will close the back window so here is go it's very simple click next next and there is nothing much to uh, you know uh, do efforts or something but it's very easy just follow the steps but the the thing is to configuration and installing the clients making groups making policies that's the critical job so we will uh, start this series after some time I'll let you know how to block the USB how to uh, whitelist blacklist Just checking the Windows policies waiting for live updates Okay, installing uh, the management server and console is finished. Now it will go configure the management server. Next. Okay. Here we go. We have a default for 500 clients. We'll use next. If you go for custom you can change as per your license and some other so we will use company name here home lab because we are doing a home lab so we'll give an admin password this is the admin user and this is the admin password for the uh, login the console in, in semantic endpoint protection manager Okay, it's saying it's weak, so we will make a little bigger. Okay, it's stronger. So email address. We just put our dummy one use a specific email server if you want we are doing a test only so no need we'll do next do you want to do uh, okay yes we don't want but in production if you want but if there is a uh, like uh, internet available you can do it otherwise uh, leave it it's incorrect configure your email server settings and testings okay so okay, we 
because it's asking for internet we will not use internet here okay this is done this is done okay so we will do no it was a test like asking for test so we click on yes but we will do no because this machine is not connected with internet okay run live updates we don't want to because we are just installing our uh, installation for home lab so if you have any uh, partner in information you can fill it otherwise go for next okay send me data to receive enhanced threat protection intelligence okay next so now it will actually start creating the database and after it will complete a hundred percent we will you know go further so i don't want to make the video longer so i will pause my video when it's finished i'll come back and i'll bring you guys in okay guys it's 100 percent completed and uh, without any error so we will just leave it checked because it will open our console window so we'll go finish so dashboard will be open we have to log in with the admin account and the password which we have given during the installation so it will take us a little more loading the management server console the management server console you can install on other computers as well or you can uh, uh, open with the remote so here is the uh, username we have to give and the password and here is the port number which we have to select here to open so i will go admin and the password which we have created during the installation okay we will click login Okay, so here it is so we will close this one because showing you during the installation live run okay it's done active your production product we haven't yet install a client software on your computer so we can install on the so because after installing this console and management uh, you know the dashboard and everything sorry, we have to install the client software also on the same computer so it's showing basically that one so we'll close this one and here you go i will maximize here is our main window 
so you will see uh, if we add a client here so it will start loading and finding and then if there is something wrong with the clients so then it will give us the uh, you know all percentages and total endpoints up to date how many clients and outdated how many clients offline how many clients disabled and other things all it will show us here so this is the main console window guys uh, today's video is only regarding the installation sem semantic endpoint protection manager installation so the configuration part and an administration part we will start uh, uh, step by step in the next coming lectures so I'll let you know how to install the clients and uh, then we'll add groups uh, and then we'll make policies okay all the policies here so we can make the policies so clients and uh, admins other uh, this is the dashboard so you can create other uh, rename change edit uh, add an uh, another administrator so these are the dashboards so we can do a lot from here so today's video is uh, installing the semantic endpoint protection manager hopefully uh, you have understand how to install it's very easy very simple just next 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 and uh, if you guys new on my channel I would like you to just subscribe my channel and uh, hit the like button and share with your friends dear, with your classmates your office mates so they can learn about uh, the semantic endpoint protection manager okay guys see you then in the next video with the next uh, topic so take care bye bye hey guys thank you for watching my videos I would uh, like to give you just a quick uh, introduction about my channel uh, what we have in this channel if you go into the videos you can find a lot of videos which is in English and which is in Hindi Urdu it's a mix so you can find a lot of videos there how to install security onion uh, witness server or how to install always on configuration there is labs also and also uh, there is a full course uh, if you go in the playlist uh, you will find a full courses uh, uh, regarding the you know SQL administration and uh, network basics data center designs uh, and uh, server administrations even you have a lot of videos uh, um, like virtualization it's about the VMware and uh, free NAS and uh, Windows Server 2012 administration Python and uh, CCNA routing switching is in a Hindi course and it's almost 29 videos and then uh, CCNA, uh, CCNP security uh, and uh, CCNP routing switching, CCNP uh, T-shoot, CCNP switching, CCNA security, c -sharp. a lot of videos related to IT guys who want to get a job in IT. You will find a lot of good videos in my, in my playlist. So just visit and uh, see the courses and you will uh, learn free. So uh, I'm making uh, the videos uh, regarding different technologies like uh, server storage and uh, uh, cyber security and uh, regarding the uh, networkings so in cyber security you will find a lot of videos regarding NASIS, uh, Kali Linux and uh, security onion a popular tool so uh, okay guys I hope you will enjoy my videos uh, just visit and find the appropriate lecture which is uh, in your interest so you will find really good videos and see uh, WSS monitoring a lot of videos about the Microsoft servers uh, and other stuff so it's a good channel for the guys who want to do job in IT uh, field and uh, there is a lot of videos on this channel uh, around uh, 500 videos I have in this channel so you guys can um, go and uh, learn about the different technologies okay thank you very much take care bye bye